after moving to Spain on a permanent basis as a UK, uh, UK citizen, you still have free access to the NHS when back in visiting the UK. True or false? So the answer to this is uh, it depends on your circumstances. But if you're a new resident, so if you're planning on moving out to Spain now from this point onwards, or if you moved out from the beginning of the year onwards, you don't automatically retain the right to access NHS services. Now, this is because the NHS is a residence based system. And so you need to be ordinarily residents to be able to access NHS services. So broadly speaking, if you leave the UK to live in Spain, you shouldn't, you shouldn't expect to use the NHS services for free. Now, as I said at the beginning, there are some small, uh, small exceptions to this. So for example, if we're a student and you're temporarily in Spain studying, you're still considered to be ordinarily resident in the UK. So you would still access the NHS in that way. But on the whole, if you're a new resident and you're moving out to Spain from this point onwards, you won't retain access to the NHS services. So it's important that when you're traveling back to the UK, you have insurance that meets your healthcare needs. So uh, I think most of you might be aware that uh, NHS services, uh, primary care is free. So if you needed to visit A&E or if you needed to visit a GP, that wouldn't be chargeable. But for anything above that, so if you got admitted to hospital, if you needed secondary operations, none of that would be covered um, because it's not considered primary care. So that's why it's really important to make sure that you have that insurance for when you're visiting uh, the UK for uh, temporary stays. And given what Martin explained about the EHIC and subsequently GHIC cards, if I were to become a Spanish resident, could I get or benefit from an EU issued EHIC card, which I could then use in the UK? That's a really good question. So that, that, that would be the difference. So if you're planning on moving to Spain, but you're not planning on working and you're not, not uh, claiming a pension, for example, then that's, that's a different story. But if you're planning on working, then you're going to be making social security contributions in Spain. So on that basis, you would be entitled to apply for a European health insurance card, which is issued by the Spanish authorities. And that is a card that you would be able to use in the UK for temporary stays, and that would cover you for necessary care. So anything that's medically necessary whilst on a short stay in the UK, or in fact, any other EU country. The headline take out from that is that for primary care, you do have access, but subsequently for, for, for more complicated procedures, uh, you, you don't. So if you don't have an, if you're not entitled to a Spanish issued EHIC, then primary care is, is the only thing you're covered for. Okay. If you do have a Spanish EHIC, say as a worker or somebody who's claiming a Spanish pension, then you would be entitled to uh, necessary care, which is slightly more amplified care than, than just primary care. Thank you, Sarah.